Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. We're going to continue today. I believe this is part three, I want to say, um, of the July design team project um, featuring Mad Paper Crush digital images. And <clears throat> before I forget, if you go to Sharon's Etsy shop at Mad Paper Crush right here, um, and you're interested in buying any of the papers that I've been using for this project, there's a coupon code you can type in Nellie and Ruth Designs, and you will receive 10% off, and there's no minimum requirement. Um, we're going to continue with the hotel guest book that I'm creating for my project. And yesterday, I got a little too ambitious um, and I put the back, the interior front, okay, on, <clears throat> and I had an idea where I wanted to use these buckles from Tim Holtz. And I normally, I don't like to have my grad show on the back side, so I would have put them on and then I would have covered it up. I still want to use these, um... And it didn't dawn on me until I was in bed last night, laying there, thinking about the project. And I realized that I forgot to adhere these. So this morning, um, over coffee, I'm thinking how I could do it. And I did come up with a way. Um, these are going to be, as we said in the previous video, these are going to be pockets with tags in them. And seeing that this is a guest checkbook, I thought it would be cute if I put, I have this cute little passport photo in here. I don't have all my lights on, so let me get, let me get more lights on here. It's another dark, dreary, it's going to be a rainy day here, no sunshine yet for us. Um, so seeing that it's a, a guest, a hotel guest book, um, a lot of people carry passports with them. So I thought I could adhere this and cover up the brad. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the front cover before we get on the inside pages because I don't want any missteps um, and I don't want to lose my train of thought. So we are going to do this first. I may have to step away to get a piece of sari silk because I want to put a nice piece of sari silk here, um, a ribbon. So I think because this is going to be, I'm going to use this, these here. I was going to originally use these, the brassy, but I, I think, I don't know, maybe these would go better. Usually your first choice is your best choice. And we're going to put these like this, and then I'm going to show you my idea. Hopefully it will work out. Um, I'd like to get a piece of sari silk and run it here and make a nice bow. I think that would be pretty. And then just leave the front cover as it is. Um, so we will get these on. Good morning, Bella. Hi, honey. Did you come to join mommy? Good girl. There you go. Get in your chair. My doodle just came up and my chair was full of stuff, so... She sleeps in the chair when I'm up here. Um, so I'm going to use my Cricut, um, I guess it's a weeder. I'm going to use that to punch my holes. And I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm really not going to measure it out. So we have one there. And we'll have one right about here. And I'm just going to poke through this. And this is where I get... Yep, and this is not going to, well, guess what? I'm going to have to. I don't know why I figured it was all going to be up here. So guess what? The passport 
is out. Well, no, I'm still going to have the passport up there. I'm going to have to put another little, and maybe I won't even put another little tag down here. I don't know what the heck I'm thinking. I'm not. I've had this terrible cold. Um, and I haven't been thinking properly. But, oh well, this is what makes life interesting, right? It just shows that we're human. <laughs> and sometimes our best laid plans go awry. But you know what? I always say even the bad is good. I did find my tweezers from yesterday. Um, just for the fact that I guess it challenges you to come up with new ideas. And so this is either going to work and it's going to be a success and it's going to make a wonderful video or I'd have to scrap the whole thing and then start over again with a front with a new front cover. Um, which would make life interesting. So again, this is going to cut down on our pocket space, but that's all right. Live and learn. That's why I usually, even when I make my, um, when I make my custom card, keepsake card holders, I have to get the front cover done first, um, just for these reasons. I can put another little embellishment here um, to cover that up. And actually, you know, I don't know, we'll see. But I've seen gals make bigger mistakes. And sometimes um, everything works out for the best. Can't control it all. So before I bend that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because that will be cute there, and we're going to have, um, I'm going to set this aside. And I ran off some more gales. Um, this is from um, Sharon's Floral Symbology Volume 2. <clears throat> and I thought that this gale here would be cute in the passport book. Um Some of them, they have their hats on, and although she looks very angelic, doesn't she? And maybe I can cut some of this out to put around the passport. I want to take this off. I don't want this star on here. So we're going to take that off because I'm going to embellish the front differently. So I think I will use her. much of the all right I'm gonna save some of those flowers I feel a little jittery um, as you can tell I'm still not feeling the best I slept in our guest room last night because the night before I let I kept my husband up with my coughing and uh, Now, what I'm going to do, because if I put this here and glue it down, what's going to happen is when I put it on 
here it would come through so what I have to do is I have to glue her through the window put this on and then fold her over so um, yeah I slept in our guest room last night as I just feel like poo poo still and uh, I just want to feel better and it's just taking so long for this virus to leave my body um, and I probably shouldn't have used there we go this glue dries so quickly all right so we have our we have our um, gal in there and I'm going to position this about where I want it here and I think I'll make my little hole right about here get that I think that will be good I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. And because this is going to be glued down, it doesn't matter if I have extra holes in it or whatever. And I think I'll bring it over just a tab, a tad here. I think that's good okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the back of this down make sure I have it in the right hole I do get it there we go get that pressed down and then I can I can glue this down I don't want to open it you know I could embellish the inside and make a little cute little tag here um, which would be cute, but I think it would be cute just like that. But if somebody's using it, see, one thing leads to another. It's like you clean out your silverware drawer and uh, um, you end up remodeling your entire kitchen. So let me think about that. I'll get this fussy cut it a little bit around here. I don't know why I'm using these big, big scissors, but they seem to work for it. So today's Friday um, in my little world here. And uh, part one to this video is, has been up. Um, I got that up early this morning. I got up at six. I felt rested. Um, and I went on the back porch like we usually do, my husband and I, and we had our coffee. And it's just so humid. I can't. I had a call, um, our HR gal today, and one of the gals out at our quarry answered the phone, and, oh, she sounds like I do, and she said her uh, allergies have been just horrendous, so I told her I could sympathize with her, 
All right, so I want that, I really want that passport to show. Um, cut these. Um, let's see if I tuck, let me just see something. Let's see how this would work. off of there. And then when I got done with my coffee, I went out and oh, that's kind of pretty. I like that. Um, when I got done with my coffee this morning, I said, well, before it rains, I, I need to work in my gardening journal. And I've noticed in one of my other videos, I told you about the, um, I gotta get this on before. Um, we had the gypsy moths come this, or the, yeah, the gypsy moths, the caterpillars, the silkworm caterpillars. They invaded our forests this year and made a horrible mess. Okay, so because I'm putting this down, I won't be making this into a pocket. So I'm going to glue this. Not a pocket, but a little show-and-tell peekaboo spot. Um, so they invaded our forests and decimated our trees, which was really sad. They ate all of the leaves off of the hardwood trees, and our beautiful mountains look like the trees haven't even bloomed this year um, and they did that to our our trees on our property um, but now we have hundreds and hundreds of moths and butterflies the monarch butterflies are here we have these really cool black uh, butterflies um, so I went out to take, you know, pictures of my flowers. All the daylilies are opening. And I looked down into, um, we have a heavily wooded area with, you know, real pretty walking trails and paths. And I looked down in there and I could not believe all of the um, hundreds of moths flitting and flying around. Um, so it was, it was crazy. So I try to take a video of them. I don't know if they'll show up, but it's just crazy. All right. Okay. So that takes care of that, um, misstep. And we still have plenty of room for a tag. So I think that's pretty for the front of a cover. So let me get a, cause I don't want these flopping around. I'm going to get a nice piece of sorry silk. And I will be right back. Okay, so I got a nice little piece of sorry silk. Um, <clears throat> I had to run over into my closet for that. Now, even though this is, um, that's how they make sorry. They just keep taking strips and um, sewing them together. Um, let's see, I don't know if I should single this. Put this singly through. Let's see. Let's see what we want to do. If I should double it. I'm almost thinking, I don't know if I cut a piece long enough to double it. I could do it a couple different ways here. Just depends on how thick I want it. Uh, let's try it this way first. We could just knot it, make a nice little knot in it like this. 
which is kind of fun. I don't think we really need to have a bow per se. Um, so we could do it that way, or we could do it, we could try it with a bow. I kind of like that way though, because I have the, the interior um, knots done as a, um, so if I want to, okay, so I'm going to do this this way. If I want the bows to, or the bottom ribbon to go this way. So if I do the bow this way, I would want to do a smaller and I guess I do like the bow a little bit better. I just want to make it a little bit smaller because I would I do like to see the um, The hardware. So, yeah, I think the bow is nice. So I'm just going to clip this there, and I'll clip this at an angle like that. All right. All right. So there's the front cover. I like that. I think that's very pretty. I think it adds, I think it's, you know, kind of masculine, the front cover. And I think this just adds a nice little, um, nice little feminine, it softens it a little bit. Okay, so let's move on. I'm going to set this aside. That's done. Um, so the interior pages, this is where I'm going to be putting the, I'm going to be creating the pockets. So what I did is I went ahead and I attached, I wanted to get my sides cut in the cinch machine punched before I did anything else. I just have the paper here adhered um, so it doesn't move. I'm going to sew these. But what I want to do first, and then I left the, I left the, here's the back cover. The back cover is all done. So we can set this aside as well. So I'm going to put the front and back cover up here. We're just going to work with the interior pages. Um, so what I did was I left, because I thought we could, I would show you actually how I constructed this and punched it. This back side, um, I didn't have an eight, well, it's actually eight by like seven and three quarters, eight inches tall, seven and three quarters. Um, I didn't have a full piece of paper. So what I thought would be nice on the, this is the back side that will be across the back cover. Um, I thought I'd make a nice little pocket in here. Um, and I probably should have, which I always have a tendency to put my pockets um, this way. I probably should have put the pocket this way, but that's okay. Um, I can change this and maybe we'll do that. See, it's the things, it's the afterthought. Once I get it down there, it's like, well, I should have done it this way. And uh, But I thought we could work on this one. Um, together. I am going to stitch these. So what I want to do first is I want to get my placement. I know she's going to be the first one. Uh, she's going to be on the front cover because she, or the front inside because she matches. We had done it to match this. So I just have to decide. I think I will have her on the bottom. And again, I want to think about this because we're going to have tags here. I don't necessarily have to have her. I'm going to be putting, remember, the tags in the top. So I don't necessarily have to have a tag on her. 
um, I can have a nice saying, but again, if I have a saying, it's going to be going across. It's going to be um, competing with this. So I think I will bring her down. And I am going to have the, I'm going to have the lace hang down. I think it would just be a, a really nice um, look on this. So I think we're going to make the pocket here. So I'm going, on this one here, I'm going to be able to stitch on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mark right here. And that's where my pocket, I'll know my pocket is going to go. So I'm going to stitch on the top and only a little bit down the side. So we have that one done. Now the two insides, um, I want to find my girl that's going to go on the back here. And I have some pink on the back so I think I'm going to put her on the back because I think she will go the best so I'm just going to have her hang up here all right so we have this done so this is going to be the two insides here and we have this one and we have this one. So um, I think I'm going to use these two. So if she's on the bottom, I have to kind of coordinate this because I don't want it to be bulky on the bottom. We're going to put the next one up on the top. So I'll be putting her up here. So then I can just do a little stitch on the bottom. And what I'm going to have to do is, see, <clears throat> I don't want it to come through. If I were to stitch this, and this is why it's good to talk this out loud. Um, because if I stitch here, it's also going to come out on the top. So I guess that's all right. I guess I will just... I guess I will just stitch the top and I will just bring this down a little bit and have my saying. I won't be stitching on the bottom. And then she is going to go on, we'll put her on the bottom. And we'll put her on the bottom. Um, I'm so tired of my phone ringing. Somebody obviously is trying to get through because they keep calling me over and over. It is so annoying. It's 10, 10, 15 in the morning. All right. And then we have these two here. So we will be putting her on top and then that will be stitched and then this one I'm not going to do yet because I will be um, we will be working on this one all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to step away I'm going to get these stitched because I don't need to do this while I'm while you're hanging around here and I will be back all right I'll see you in a couple minutes Okay, so I have everything stitched, <clears throat> and we'll work on the the back. So I'm going to put this up back up to the front here. So <clears throat> it did work out well. Um, I did a zigzag on the top, and I always like to do just a straight stitch. I just think it adds a little bit a different dimension. And then when you flip it over, this one here is going to be on the top, so the stitching worked out well. And then this one here, um, the bottom again. So the stitching on the top. And then this one will go up here. So we're going to set these aside. These are all set and ready um, to work with. All right, so I want to just show you, um, and it's probably no big deal. It's probably something you already do. When I 
these are pretty self-explanatory. You know, you, you cut your paper and you have your, um, your file folder. I just take, I get it all lined up like this, and then I fold, I bring this back, and I have my tape roller, and I can show you how I do it on the other side. I just roll it back once I get it in place, and I say it's this side, and I just take and I make just a little tiny mark, and I adhere it. So then when I go to stitch it, it it's not wobbly. Um, so I did take this back side off. And I am going to put the pocket so it goes this way. Um, I also don't like the way this is really a sharp um, corner here. So I think I might take just a little bit. I'll see how this, I'm just going to take a little bit off the side here. Off the end. Just to soften that a little bit which I think is, I like it better. Um, so obviously in changing this around, um, and I guess it doesn't really matter, this is going to be upside down. But I'll be putting some, um, embellish, I'll be embellishing this side, so you're not going to really notice. Um at all. So I'm just going to show you how, so this here is all lined up. And I just take, I make a little, here and there. And I have to remember to punch this. I'll show you the, um, and this here, I'm just going to make a little tiny mark here. And one right here, because we're going to be punching and stitching. And um, actually, this is going to be a pocket, so I really want, I may only need just that one because I don't want to um, hinder the pocket at all. So I think what I'll do, I just have to keep this in mind, just taking that little bit off, I'm going to just add a little bit here and a little bit there. I think that'll be better. that lined up okay all right that's good all right so we have the back um, panel and let me think here a minute because um, I'm going to be stitching all right so she is going to be going towards the bottom. She's going to be on the bottom. All right. Um, so we're going to put her here. So we'll be stitching on the top. But again, I have here. So I think that'll work out just fine. All right. I just want to... Okay. So the first thing I need to do before I stitch is I need to... Um, punch. So let me get my cinch up here. All right. And we're going to, this is the side here. Okay. And whenever you use your cinch, you want to remember to get it right up against that back. I've done it before where I think I go this way and I think I've got it in the back. And my holes have actually been along the side, and it's a disaster. So, and this is another reason why I punch my holes first. Um, 
I used to do my whole page and then punch, and then if it was off, I did all that work and it didn't come out properly. And then you have to remember to pull out your um, the ones that aren't going to punch your paper. If I were to push this number four in, it would punch the top of this. So you have to make sure they're out. I only want to punch three holes right here to finish the top. There we go. All right, so that's done. All right, so that's good. She's going to be here, and now I can stitch, and I'll stitch really quick. Um, now let me think about it. if I stitch across here and down, yeah, it will come on this side. So that'll be that'll be good. All right, all right, I'll get this stitched real quick. Okay. All right, so that's all stitched. <clears throat> all right, so that's good. And that's our last um That's our last. So, I'm just going to finish um gluing these. And what I will do, I'm going to put these in order. Um, and then what I will do is we'll just finish this up and then we should be able to finish this in the next video. So, um, and get it all completed. We'll be able to do some embellishing. Oh, for goodness sakes. There we go. But this has been a really fun project. I didn't expect it to um, get so detailed. I had something totally different in mind. But I really like the idea here of the a hotel guest book and I think it's very fitting for Sharon's papers um, and I'm just really happy with the way this has turned out um, something a little different you know it's not a it's not a you know it's not a true journal or anything like that um, you know you can use this as a it'd be a lovely you know little gratitude journal um, you know a nice little memory keeper you could use it for um, you know, birthdays or, or if you went on a little trip, a little romantic getaway um, with your significant other, you could use it, you know, for that to keep your memories in. I think 
I did. Did I do this side? No, not yet. Oh, I did. Did I? Sometimes it's hard to tell. But it looks like I did. And my dogs are going to start barking. My daughter-in-law just got home from the grocery store. So if you hear the girls going kind of bananas in the background. I have the Culligan man coming today. There's just a lot going on. I'm going to dinner tonight with um, my girlfriend and her husband. I'm dying for her birthday to come. She's the one that I made the, uh, the Lazy Daisy journal for. And, oh, I'd love to give it to Lee tonight, but I have to wait. I got to... I got to give it to her on her birthday. Her birthday's the beginning of August, so I don't have long to wait, but... I'm just very anxious to give it to her. I'd love to be able to give it to her tonight. But all good things come in time. Um, no, Barbie, we don't want to do that because Remember, this is a pocket, so we're not going down that road. This is a pocket, so we're not going down that road. So, because I did that little tiny bit, I think I did that, uh, that little tiny bit of glue there, I want to make sure it's freed up. So, all right, so we're going to end the, this video here. I will pull out some other items, and then um, we'll do some embellishing, and we will put it all together, and we will finish it up. Now, I'm just going to take this card here. There we go. Perfect. All right. All right, everybody. So we're going to finish it here. Um and we will start the next video and, and finish it up. So thanks for joining in. And I will, I will see you in my next video. All right. Bye-bye.